So this is going to be a brief tutorial on building simple REST APIs with Node.js and Fastify. If you're not familiar with Fastify, it's a web framework for Node.js that lets you build web servers and REST APIs, similar to Express or Qua. It's pretty lightweight, powerful, and it's known to be pretty fast. There's a lot of articles out there on performance benchmarks comparing Fastify to other web frameworks, but I'm going to leave that out of this video and just focus on building a simple REST API. So. Let's start out first by opening up our terminal, creating a directory for it. We are going to cd into that directory, um, and then we are going to initialize it with node package manager, which is going to allow us to install Fastify here in a sec. So it's going to ask us, is this okay? We're going to say yes. And finally, let's open it up in Visual Studio Code. Okay, cool. So first off, let's create our server.js file. And let's open up a new terminal window. So we're gonna have to install Fastify, so the command is gonna be npm install Fastify slash slash save. So while, so that should install here pretty quickly. Let me make this a little more widescreen. All right, cool. So now that's installed, um, let's import Fastify and initialize it. So constant Fastify require Fastify, sorry, Fastify, and then initialize it right there on the spot. Um, we can do these are our imports just so we have some comments sectioning things out. And then now let's create a listener. Um, we're gonna do Fastify listen. We're going to listen on port 3000 um, and then we're going to get a callback. So function error and address. So if there is an error, we are going to console log that error. So if there's an error listening on this port, we're going to console log um, you know, the error itself and we're going to exit this process. Process.exit with status code 1 or there's no error, we're going to just tell ourselves that the server is up and running on ports 2000. Cool. So let's go ahead and just test this. Node server.js. Okay, cool. So server is up and running on port 3000. Awesome. So now what we're going to do is actually register our routes. So when registering your routes, typically you're going to want to compartmentalize your routes into different files. Um, for example, right now what we're going to do is a users um, file. So any slash users, um, any data or any calls to the slash users endpoint is just going to go to this users.js file. So that's what we're going to try to achieve here. So I'm going to do fastify.register. We are going to require this route, so slash routes slash users. Then we're going to add that prefix to it. So what the prefix is going to do is it's going to send any data to that specific slash users endpoint to go to that um, to go to that users.js file. So now that we got that registered, let's hop back into here, the users.register file, um, and start building our actual route. So this is going to be async function routes right and then fastify so we got to pull in fastify then options now there's a lot of cool options you can pass in here you're gonna have to look at the fastify documentation for that we're not going to cover that in this video um, but we're going to do a simple get endpoint that pulls down the user id so basically we're going to pass the user id as a parameter in the url and then we're going to pull that down send it back to the client device um, and then send back some other dummy data so we're going to do get slash, right? And then we're going to do async request response. Do an arrow function here. Then all we're going to do, so keep in mind I said we're going to use the ID as a parameter. So we're going to do slash uh, colon ID actually. So what we're going to send back is going to be a simple JSON object. going to be ID 
So request. So to extract um, parameters from this URL, you're going to do request.params.id, and then to extract uh, query parameters, you know, for example, I'll show you guys right here. So, you know, this is going to be slash users endpoint. So slash users slash or colon ID. Now, if we want to extract query endpoints, you know, like, you know, for example, search equals whatever text, we'd have to do request dot search. Um, no, sorry, request dot query dot search to get the value of this. And then if we were passing in body parameters, we would do request dot body dot the name of that param uh, the name of the key value of that parameter essentially. Um, but in this situation, since we're just using a regular parameter, we're just going to do request dot params dot id. I'm going to send back some other dummy data, so we'll just do first name was John, last name equals Smith, whatever. So in this area here, you can. Basically, under this fastify.get, you can create like database calls, you can pull down whatever, create other async functions that pull down other data, compile that data, and then send that back. This is just dummy data for now. Um, and then lastly, what we're going to want to do is outside of all of this, we're going to do module.exports equals router, or route, sorry. Um, so routes will basically, this will export these routes back to server.js, so when it does register it, it knows where to register going to go right here. Um, this is going to go to the slash users slash colon ID endpoint. Um, and since it's slash users comes from over here, the prefix that we created here. So anything slash users is going to go directly to this file. And that's why we didn't have to specify slash users again right here. We only have to do slash ID because this was already prefixed on right here in the server.js. So now that we have that, we can pop into Postman, um, do a simple call here. We're on port 3000. And do slash users slash ABCD ABC, EFG 123456. Right. Um, and let's make sure our server is restarted. And I'll send it off. There we go. So now we get back that data. So ID is ABCD one two three four five six. Um, just as we you know sent it over here, get that first name last name back as well. Response time twenty eight milliseconds two hundred status code. We can change up that ID and still get um, you know a different ID here. So we'll just do something random. Got it back again. So. There you go, there you have it guys. Um, this is, the response was successful. We have a simple REST API built with Fastify and Node.js. Um, I hope this was helpful, and I suggest you guys check out the documentation on Fastify, as it has a lot more to offer than just this. Um, I'll provide the link to it in the comments, and as well as a GitHub link to this demo server if you're interested. Thanks for watching, and hope